Just offshore from Naples, fishermen are suddenly steering clear of seas that bubble and simmer, as if boiling from below. Thermal cameras reveal water up to 5 degrees hotter than normal. This is evidence not of weather, but of a restless magmatic giant beneath Campi Flegre. Millions live atop this ancient caldera, while strange new vents and gases show the entire crust is reaching its mechanical breaking point. But what triggered this surge, and how close are we to a threshold that could reshape the coast in seconds? The story begins beneath the lifted streets of Pozzuoli. Campi Flegre is not a single mountain or cone, but a vast hidden caldera, stretching 13 kilometers across the western edge of Naples and deep into the Bay of Pozzuoli. This sunken volcanic basin lies beneath neighborhoods, suburbs, and the bustling port, its rim marked by low hills and old crater lakes that blend into the city's daily life. Unlike Vesuvius, which stands as a solitary peak, Campi Flegre's footprint is diffuse and sprawling, covering an area larger than many European capitals. Within this broad zone, nearly 3 million people live and work, making it one of the most densely populated volcanic hazard areas on the planet. The caldera's reach includes the heart of Pozzuoli, much of Bagnoli, and the crowded quarters of western Naples. Apartment blocks, schools, hospitals, and commercial centers all sit atop layers of volcanic ash and fractured rock, shaped by past eruptions and centuries of slow ground movement. Detailed mapping overlays reveal the caldera's full extent, from the Solfatara fumarole fields near the city center, out through the Phlegraean fields, and into the shallow waters offshore. Here, the boundary is not always visible, but its presence is felt in the form of hot springs, gas vents, and the recent patches of bubbling sea. Beneath these everyday streets and shorelines, a complex network of hydrothermal pathways and magma pockets moves heat and fluids upward, sometimes quietly, sometimes with unmistakable force. This concentration of people and infrastructure atop a restless volcanic system sets Campi Flegre apart from most other calderas worldwide. In places like Yellowstone or Taupo, vast hazard zones are mostly remote. Here, the caldera and the city are inseparable. Every shift in the ground, every new vent, every spike in gas emissions carries direct consequences for millions. The risks are not abstract, but woven into the urban fabric, in the foundations of homes, the roots of commuter trains, and the daily routines of families who have lived with this invisible giant for generations. Understanding the true scale of Campi Flegre is the first step in grasping what is at stake. The caldera's boundaries are not just lines on a map, but the limits of a hazard zone that touches every aspect of life along the Bay of Naples. In Pozzuoli, the ground has never truly stood still. Since the 1950s, more than four meters of uplift have pushed the town upward, warping streets and tilting the historic shoreline. The old harbor, once bustling at sea level, now sits perched above the waterline, its ancient columns bearing horizontal rings left by marine mollusks, a quiet record of how much the land has risen. Residents remember when the sea lapped at the base of the Macellum ruins, and how, year by year, steps that once led down to boats now lead only to air. Official leveling surveys carried out by Italian geologists since the end of World War II track a jagged history of slow swelling and occasional pauses. Each measurement, marked in careful handwriting or digital printout, documents a restless foundation. The most dramatic changes came in the early 1980s, when the ground in central Pozzuoli lifted nearly two meters in just a few years. Shopkeepers found their storefronts slanting, doors refusing to close, and cracks snaking through the plaster of family homes. Some streets became so steep that children used them for impromptu slides. For many families, these changes are not just numbers on a chart, but memories of sudden evacuation orders, hurried packing in the middle of the night, and months spent living with relatives or in government shelters. One family recalls watching their kitchen floor slowly tilt, marbles rolling from one end of the room to the other until civil protection officials arrived and told them it was time to leave. The disorientation of that period lingers, a sense that the earth itself could not be trusted. Despite the return of daily life, reminders of Bradyseism are everywhere. The waterfront promenade in Pozzuoli now stands much higher than its 19th century design, and the city's old fish market has been rebuilt several times to keep pace with the shifting ground. 
Some buildings lean at odd angles, their foundations reinforced again and again. Even now, longtime residents check the latest uplift measurements online, scanning for signs that the ground is starting to move faster. These lived experiences, layered over decades, have shaped a collective memory of instability. For Pozzuoli, ground unrest is not a surprise, it is a recurring fact of life. But the recent acceleration in uplift has revived old anxieties. The pace is no longer slow and steady. In the past year alone, the ground in parts of the town has risen by more than 15 centimeters, the sharpest increase since the crisis of the 1980s. People who have spent a lifetime adapting to gradual change now find themselves facing a new, uncertain tempo. The city's story is written in warped stone and anxious glances at the ground, a reminder that the forces beneath Campi Flegre have never truly slept. A patch of seafloor between Pozzuoli and the Bay of Naples is now rising at an unprecedented pace. Recent bathymetric surveys by Italian research vessels have mapped a zone roughly one and a half square kilometers in size where the seabed has lifted by 10 to 15 centimeters since early 2024. This is not a uniform bulge, but a complex, uneven deformation. New fissures crisscross the sediment, and clusters of vents have appeared where none were seen before. Field teams have deployed thermal drones and vessel-mounted infrared cameras to scan the water's surface. The results are clear. In the heart of this patch, seawater temperatures are consistently 2 to 5 degrees Celsius above normal. These temperature spikes do not follow tides or weather fronts. Instead, they align with the mapped uplift and the bubbling vents. The pattern is so clear that exclusion zones have been extended to cover the entire affected area, and local authorities now monitor these boundaries daily. Underwater, dozens of new gas vents release streams of bubbles, mostly carbon dioxide, with traces of sulfur and helium directly into the water column. The surface above these vents appears to simmer, with persistent chains of bubbles marking the outlines of the most active zones. Instruments lowered from research boats confirm that the water column is stratified by temperature, with the warmest layers hugging the seabed above the uplifted patch. Marine geochemists describe the scene as a living laboratory. Every degree of warming, every centimeter of uplift, is a direct signal from below. The magnitude of change, both in vertical displacement and heat flow, far exceeds anything seen offshore in past decades. These anomalies cannot be explained by seasonal variation or human activity. The only plausible source is a surge of geothermal energy from the caldera's restless interior, now forcing its way upward through the fractured crust beneath the bay. Gas samples collected from the new offshore vents tell a story that runs deeper than the surface. Marine geochemists working with scientists from the Italian Institute INGVI have analyzed the bubbling plumes with mass spectrometry and isotopic traces. The results are clear. The chemistry of these gases links the bubbling sea directly to magma far below the crust. Deep carbon dioxide dominates the emissions, measured at levels far higher than those produced by shallow hydrothermal systems. This concentration is a classic indicator of magmatic degassing, where rising magma releases CO2 as it moves through fractured rock. But the signature goes further. Traces of helium-3, a rare isotope, appear consistently in vent samples. Helium-3 is almost absent in the atmosphere and in most crustal rocks, and its presence here points to a mantle source carried upward by fluids escaping from molten rock. This is the fingerprint of magma, not just boiling groundwater. Sulfur compounds, especially sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, round out the profile. These gases require high temperatures to form, and they are typical of active volcanic systems where hydrothermal pathways tap directly into zones of partial melt. Each bubble rising through the water column is more than a curiosity. It is a data point, a sample of heat and pressure moving through the caldera's fractured crust. By tracking the ratios of CO2, helium-3, and sulfur species over time, scientists can monitor the pulse of the system below. The current ratios match those seen during past periods of unrest, but now both concentration and flux are higher than at any point in recent decades. This geochemical evidence confirms that the recent offshore anomalies are not just shallow disturbances. They are the surface expression of a deep magmatic system, 
increasingly active and communicating its presence through every escaping plume. Seismic instruments scattered across the Campi Flegre caldera have recorded a clear pattern. Earthquake swarms are clustering at shallower depths than ever before. In the past two years, the majority of these tremors have originated less than two kilometers beneath the surface. Catalogues maintained by INGV show this upward migration in striking detail. What began as sporadic microquakes at four or five kilometers depth now routinely cluster just beneath the urban districts of Pozzuoli and Bagnoli, and even offshore beneath the bubbling sea. Many of these earthquakes are too small to be felt, but their frequency and shallow origin are unmistakable signals of a crust under pressure. Seismologists trace this change using both classic seismograph arrays and newer electromagnetic surveys. The result is a three-dimensional map of the caldera's interior, revealing not just the paths of migrating earthquakes, but also the zones where the Earth's crust is thinning and weakening. Recent tomography slices produced by joint Italian and international teams show pockets of partial melt lurking beneath the Bay of Naples. These are not vast magma chambers, but smaller interconnected reservoirs where molten rock and superheated fluids accumulate. The presence of partial melt explains the persistent heat flow, the rising gas, and the growing permeability of the crust. A senior INGV seismologist describes the current findings as a portrait of an evolving system. With every new swarm, microfractures multiply, making it easier for fluids and gases to rise. The crust above these melt pockets is now more fractured and permeable than at any point in recent monitoring history. Each seismic event, each mapped anomaly, adds a new layer to the understanding of how Campi Flegre is reorganizing itself below the surface. The convergence of shallow swarms and evidence of active melt zones sets the stage for the next phase of scientific scrutiny and for the ongoing vigilance of those living above this restless caldera. Uplift, gas emissions, and seismic swarms are now moving in lockstep across Campi Flegre. GPS stations from Pozzuoli to Bagnoli record ground rising at rates not seen since the 1980s, with some sensors logging over 15 centimeters of elevation in, in less than a year. At the same time, gas flux monitors show carbon dioxide and sulfur output at key vents onshore and offshore doubling previous averages, while helium-3 readings confirm input from the deep mantle. Seismic charts reveal daily clusters of shallow quakes, most breaking within two kilometers of the surface, and the frequency of these swarms has climbed sharply since early 2025. For volcanologists at the ING Vav, the convergence of these signals is a rare and troubling pattern. A spokesperson describes the situation as a system approaching its mechanical limit, a crust so fractured and thin that it takes less pressure than ever to force new pathways open. In past cycles, these indicators moved independently or in sequence. Now all three are escalating together. Every data stream, uplift, gas, and seismicity feeds into the same story. The crust above the caldera is weakening and the internal pressure is finding more ways to escape. This is not a forecast of an imminent eruption, but a warning that the system is more sensitive and less predictable than at any point in recent memory. Civil protection officials now rank hydrothermal and phreatic explosions as the most immediate danger for communities around Campi Flegre. These steam-driven blasts can erupt with almost no warning, triggered when superheated groundwater flashes to vapor and shatters the overlying crust. Such events have occurred before in volcanic regions worldwide, often leaving behind craters and debris fields in places that seemed calm only moments earlier. The bubbling sea and rising gas emissions offshore are clear signs that fluids beneath the caldera are close to a critical threshold. The next most likely scenario is a period of intense hydrothermal venting and gas release. Elevated carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide levels can threaten air quality, impact marine life, and force temporary closures of beaches and waterfronts. In some years, these emissions have doubled the long-term average, prompting local authorities to expand exclusion zones and issue health advisories for at-risk neighborhoods. A small magmatic eruption, either offshore or on land, is considered moderately likely in the near term. If magma finds a path to the surface, especially beneath the sea, the rapid interaction with water could drive explosive ash columns and localized surges. 
While the risk of a large caldera forming eruption remains low, the system's current state demands constant vigilance. For the Protezione Civile, the focus is on rapid detection, clear communication, and readiness for hazards that may unfold in hours rather than days. Civil protection authorities have raised the official alert level for Campi Flegre to yellow, signaling a restless phase that calls for heightened monitoring and readiness across the region. In response, dozens of new seismic and gas monitoring stations have been installed on land and offshore, with real-time data streaming directly to the National Operations Center in Rome. Emergency planners have reviewed evacuation routes for every town within the caldera, updating maps and signage in both Italian and English to ensure clarity for residents and visitors alike. Regular siren tests and evacuation drills are now part of daily life in Pozzuoli, Bagnoli, and the coastal neighborhoods of western Naples. Schools and hospitals conduct practice runs, and exclusion zones are clearly marked along affected beaches and waterfronts. Community leaders work closely with Protezione Civile to distribute bilingual guidance, explaining the meaning of each alert level and the steps to take if sirens sound or messages appear on phones and public screens. Key instructions are posted at transport hubs, hotels, and public buildings. Know your nearest evacuation route, keep updated through official channels, and do not cross into restricted coastal zones. For residents and tourists, the Civil Protection website and regional portals provide essential information in both Italian and English, including live updates on the alert status and practical steps for personal safety. The focus is on calm, coordinated action ensuring that everyone, regardless of language, can respond quickly and confidently if conditions change. Protezione Tivile Segui solo le fonti ufficiali Follow only official sources Conosci il tuo percorso di evacuazione Know your evacuation route Non entrare nelle zone interdette Do not enter restricted areas Per informazioni aggiornate, consulta i link nella descrizione for updates, see the links in the description. Right now, over 3 million people live atop a caldera whose sensitivity is rising with every microfracture and plume. Each new vent signals that Campi Flegre's crust is closer to failure than in recorded memory. As scientists race to decode these warnings, vigilance is all that stands between routine and disaster. The sea may simmer today, but tomorrow's threshold is uncertain. Southern Italy waits on the edge of possibility.